What is up guys? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So in today's video, I am gonna be covering my newly updated settings for the Battle Royale. First, I am going to cover all the important things from the basic settings. Then I'll be discussing my updated sensitivity settings after the release of the Season 8 update. And lastly, I'll show you 4 different HUD layouts, for 4 different kinds of players. The entire thing may be a little bit longer, but trust me, it will be extremely helpful for your gameplay. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I make some great tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful loadouts for the Battle Royale. And trust me when I say, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. Follow me on Instagram and join the Bullshot Army for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. First, I am gonna be starting with the basic settings of the Battle Royale. The primary settings are pretty much the same as they were before the Season 8 update. But there are some new things added in this month's update. The fast scope switch allows you to change optics with a drop-down menu, which only works if you carry anything other than just the classic red dot sight. The slide hint is totally an optional choice, it basically shows you a slide button instead of a crouch button when you are sprinting. The shotgun hit reminder also is an optional choice, as it doesn't affect anything to the gameplay, it just shows you the placements of the bullets fired from a shotgun. The automated armor repair allows you to continuously upgrade your armor until the health points of the armor reaches to 150 points. Rest of the settings are pretty reasonable. Now, in the Battle Royale, I am currently using the tap and hold option to aim down sight for better versatility in the middle of the battlefield, and most importantly, I am gradually switching to five fingers claw and I've become extremely used to this option. Other than that, I use the one tap slide option. The always sprint option is a very important thing as it helps to slide flawlessly without going crouch. I have been using maximum field of view in both of my perspectives. It matches with my sensitivity values pretty easily, and I don't see any changes coming anytime soon. That's pretty much it for the basic settings of the Battle Royale. In the graphic settings, I personally use the graphics quality on the medium option. Although my device has support for higher options, but it gets extremely hotter on anything over the medium option, and the frame starts to drop pretty drastically. But for the frame rate, I'll recommend you to use the maximum settings every single time, as this is a first-person shooter slash online battle royale, and for any online FPS title, the frame rate has to be the most important factor in the game. Now for the rest of the options, before the release of the update, I used to run the depth of field option, but after the release of the season 6 update, everything other than the shadows option are pretty much gone from the medium graphic settings. But trust me, that won't be any problem regarding your gameplay. And for the shadows option, I personally keep it always on because it gets me perfect awareness against the airborne users. And lastly, my battle royale graphic style is set on dynamic mode because for me, it is the most comfortable mode to play and it gives me a black ops kind of vibes to be honest. In the audio settings, I have kept everything pretty much the same except the UI volume and the in-game music. Decreasing the UI volume to 50% is extremely user-friendly for me and I think you should apply this to your audio settings as well. It will reduce the tap sounds when you press any button while playing the battle royale. Now in the settings of the special effects, I still have been using the good old blood effect. It is a cosmetic thing after all, which depends totally on your personal preference. You can use whatever you wish to, but for the get hit hint effect, I'll be suggesting you to use something brighter, like the yellow or the pink one. There is nothing much important to discuss in the loot settings. But one thing that I want to recommend you, it's very necessary to carry some lethals and some tacticals. It doesn't matter whatever your storage formation is, as soon as you get your hands on a level 2 or a level 3 backpack, you have to equip at least 3 Nova gases and 3 cluster grenades in order to counter the enemy tanks and the trap master campers in the buildings. Also, you must carry a set of smoke grenades, as they will be super helpful whenever you need to get out from a risky situation. And for the optics, I personally never use anything other than the classic red dot sight. I usually don't recommend you to use any kind of optics in close range engagements. I am using the red dot sight with my weapons just because it feels more user friendly in the long range ADS engagements. But keep this one thing in your mind, you should never use any optics with the shotguns or submachine guns as they are made only for close quarter combats. 
And now, before we get to discuss the best sensitivity settings for the Battle Royale, I want you to have a look on some of my gameplays. With this, you're gonna have some rough idea about the speed of my play style, and how I manage my enemies in close range engagements. I am currently using a Redmi Note 8 Pro, which has screen size of 6 inches. I am suggesting you to observe my movements and my accuracy throughout this entire gameplay. And I'll see you after the final kill, with all the values of the sensitivity settings. As you guys have noticed, I have a moderately fast movement speed, which is pretty easier to adapt. And most of the time, I use the gyroscope to control the recoil of my weapons. Now, for the battle royale, I use speed acceleration in the rotation mode, with a value of 50. You can keep it between 50 to 60, which is by far the most user-friendly spot, which works flawlessly, with the maximum value of the field of view. Currently I am using 50, because of the boosted FOV and third-person perspective. It matches perfectly with the speed of my movements, and along with my godly gyroscope setup, it can provide you with some extremely optimized performance. I used to prefer my sensitivity switch while opening the ADS mode. But currently I am using the third option, which is gradually switching the sensitivity while using the aim down sight. Anyways, here are all the sensitivity values for the battle royale. Feel free to pause the video, take some screenshots, and note down every single values. Just keep one thing in mind. According to your play style, you can make some changes here and there in the general and the firing sensitivity. But I recommend you not to make any changes to the gyroscope values because it is extremely calculated for a moderately fast play style for mobile players, and trust me when I say, it will give you some aimbot level accuracy for all sorts of ranges. And here I have some of the most user-friendly HUD layouts for the Battle Royale. I have four different layouts for four different types of players, and I personally use the third one, which is a 3.5 finger claw layout. I play with three fingers in general. I just use the scope button with my right index finger, and that's the only job for my fourth finger. Anyways, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed today's contents. It would be greatly appreciated if you drop a like and share this with your teammates. And if you are new here, then don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I upload some pretty helpful tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful gunsmith loadouts for the battle royale. And trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. Follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Alright then, have a great day. I'll see you at the next one, with some top-notch M13 custom loadouts for the Battle Royale. Till then, take care. Bulls out.